can we go thrift shopping? What, 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 Hey everybody, it's what, Shayna, also known as what, Thrifty what, Nurse. What, what, I am here today in my storage unit, just hanging out with my big mountain of plush behind me. I'm actually laying on it. Um, I have a lot. So I'm going to do a video today on some bolo items that are plush and pillows. I pick these up all the time, these um, needlepoint tapestry style pillows. Not necessarily like this exact design or anything, but just this style. They usually have a plain side. That one needs cleaned off still. And then they have a design side. Um, the holiday ones especially tend to do pretty well. But in general, I've sold, I think, every one I've ever picked up. I usually get those for 50 cents, sometimes a dollar. Plush, I pick up all the time, 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar or two, maybe at the most. Like this big guy here, I think I paid $2 for him. Um, but I've done really well with plush and pillows in general. So I'm going to show you guys some sales that I've made. Some of them are bread and butter, some of them are bolo items. And then I'll also show you some... Uh, plush that I haven't listed yet and that I expect to do well and some current listings that I have maybe So yeah, that's what the video today is gonna be I hope everybody is having a great Mother's Day weekend and to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day And if you enjoy this video, please like and comment and subscribe and make sure you check back for more videos in the future All right. Thanks for watching. Bye So this first item is a Furry Bones Plush Skeleton Monkey, 10 inches, sold for $16 plus shipping. I picked this up for about $0.50 cents at a thrift store. I thought it was a Skull Animals, which is a bolo item, but it's not, but it was very similar and it sold quickly. Speaking of Skull Animals, here's a bolo alert. This is a Skull Animals Chunky. Uh, plush, it sold for $37. It's like a little plush panda bear and it has a skeleton on top of it. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store for $0.50 cents as well and it sold very fast. This is a TY or Thai Beanie Boos Bloom the Bunny. It sold for $9 plus shipping. I picked this up for I think $0.50 cents at a yard sale. Um, these do better in lots usually, but this one did sell by itself right before Easter pretty fast. This is a plush grease movie bear from Chantilly Lane at Hallmark. It sold for $20 plus shipping. It's supposed to be Sandy from the movie, and it sang, I think, just one song. Um, I forget which song it was, but it was really cute, and it was brand new with tags, and it took a couple weeks to sell maybe. And here we have another bolo alert. This is a Scentsy Buddy Simba Lion King Disney plush. It sold for $33 plus shipping. Um, I got this at a thrift store for a dollar and it sold pretty quickly. It did have the scent pack in there, but it was kind of worn out, which I did disclose. And there is also another Scentsy Buddy right here. This is the Terra Triceratops. This one sold for a little bit less, $18 plus shipping. I also found this at a thrift store for a dollar, and it sold pretty fast as well. I think Scentsy Buddies in general are probably something good to pick up, but these are the only two i found so far. This is a Fiesta Tippy Folk Plush Owl, uh, 16 inch. It sold for $24 plus shipping. It did sell pretty fast. I think I got this one for $0.25 cents or $0.50 cents at a yard sale, and I thought it looked funny because it had legs like... It's an owl. It just looked weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> this is a baby seat, actually, but it's kind of a plush, too. It's by Al Picasso. It was sold for $24 plus shipping. I got this at Goodwill for, I think, $2. And it did have some damage, which I disclosed in the listing, and they still wanted to buy it. So that was great. This is a posable Scotty Terrier dog plush. I found it at a thrift store for, I think, $0.25 cents or $0.50. Cents. Sold for $11 plus shipping. It had a big red bow. 
I think it was handmade. It didn't have any tags and it looked like it might have been handmade and it actually sold a lot quicker than I thought it would. This is a Fisher Price Rumbly Tummy Winnie the Pooh plush. It sold for $18 plus shipping. I got this at a thrift store for either 50 cents or a dollar. It did move and make noise, like its ears moved and its mouth moved. I forget what all it said, but it was really cute. This is another Winnie the Pooh plush. I think I paid a dollar or two for this one. It sold for 19 plus shipping, and it had little bunny ears, and it also made noises or moved or something. I don't remember now. It was really cute. I thought it would sell a little bit higher than it did. Um, it was right before Easter that I sold it, but it did sell. This is a Kelly Toy plush bear seat chair. It sold for $20 plus shipping. I also got this at Goodwill for I think $2. Um, it sat a little bit longer than I expected and I did have to come down on the price a bit more than I wanted to, but it was kind of heavy to ship because it was pretty large. This is a Disney Toy Story rocking horse. It is a plush toy kind of. It sold for $20 plus shipping. It was also uh, expensive to ship because of the size, so I think the buyer all in was at like almost $40, and it sold pretty quickly. Another Bolo alert. This is a Fisher Price Vintage Rumple Bear plush. I sold this one for $53 plus shipping. I got two or three, actually got three of these for $0.50 cents a piece at a thrift store. And I've sold two of them so far. Um, this is the Chocolate Bear one. And I could have probably held out for more on these. This is a honey colored one that sold for 50 plus shipping. Um, I got both of these at the same store, like I said, for 50 cents a piece. And I still have one more to list. And they're really cute. They're kind of floppy. They're from the 90s. Um, they don't look like they would really be worth that much. But they sell for up to $100, $200 sometimes. This is the, the mark on the foot, it has the Fisher Price symbol, and this is what the tag looks like. And this is two TY or Thai Christmas Beanie Babies, I have misspelled that apparently. Um, $9 plus shipping is what they sold for. I think I got these for a quarter a piece at a thrift store. One of them did have the little hang tag, but the other one did not. I think this one's called Twinkling the Bear, and I forget what the penguin's name is. But he did not even have his little tag. And I sold those, I think it was after Christmas, I'm pretty sure. This is a bundle I did for somebody. They got this Boyd's Bear Angel. And then they also got some Secret Life um, plush that you'll see in a second. And then they got two different uh, leotard things for girls. And I think a tank top. And it was all 65 plus shipping. So that works out too. I think they paid maybe close to 20 a piece for the plush. There's the Secret Life Pets. I had those originally listed at 20 for all three, so that was a pretty good sale. This is a Little Darlings Vintage Plush Doll. I just sold this the other day. It's from 1994. It sold for 11 plus shipping. I got this for 50 cents at a thrift store. It was kind of a, uh, like the stuffing wasn't real firm anymore, which I did disclose, but it sold. This is a Sven from Frozen Disney Plush Reindeer Animal. It sold for 12 plus shipping. This is one of the very first plushes that I ever bought to flip and I found it at Goodwill. I think I paid a dollar or two for it. And I did have to come down on the price a bit, but I did see higher comps. This is a Monster Truck Plush from 2019. It sold for 11 plus shipping. Um, I could have done cheaper shipping. I didn't realize when I weighed it my scale was off, so I could have actually knocked the shipping down a bit. But it sold pretty quickly. I think I picked this up for 50 cents or a dollar at a thrift store. This is a Ralph Lauren Romance Plush Bear. It sold for 17 plus shipping. It has a little pink Ralph Lauren hoodie. I think I got this at Goodwill for a dollar or two. Um, if it had been with the perfume still, it would have been worth a lot more, or if it had been new in the box still, but it was just the bear. This is another TY or Thai Beanie Baby Spider-Man sold for $8 plus shipping. I think I got this one for free, actually, in a curb alert box, and it did sell on its own, but normally these do better if you get a bunch of them and lot them up, which is what I'm working on right now. 
This is Two Tigger plush from Winnie the Pooh. They were pretty big, 32 inches, um, from 2001. I think they were made by Mattel. They sold for 26 plus shipping together. I did have them listed separately as well, but they sold faster together. Somebody bought both of them. And I got those at a thrift store for a dollar each. This is a vintage Little Mermaid um, Scuttle plush, sold for 14 plus shipping. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents, and it sold pretty quickly. It's from the 90s. It was a little dirty, which I did disclose. It just looked kind of dingy, not real white anymore. This is a vintage Hasbro Glowworm plush. It sold for 10 plus shipping. It lights up. I think I paid a dollar or 50 cents for this at a thrift store. I thought it would sell a little bit more than it did, but it did have some, like, dings and scuffs on the face, so that wasn't too bad. But I love selling plush. It's so easy to list. It's easy to ship. You just take a couple pictures and throw it in a poly bag or a box, and it's just so simple to do. This is a Finding Dory Disney plush. It talked and sang and played music. I think it had, like, a nighttime setting. You could set it to play, like, calming, relaxing music. Sold for $8 plus shipping, and this was something I got for free in a Kerbler as well. This is a Lilo and Stitch plush, Disney Store exclusive. It sold for $12 plus shipping. I think I could have held out for a bit more on this one. It's one of the first plushes that I've sold when I first started doing this, and it sold pretty quickly, and it was really adorable. I have a bunch of those to list still. This is a vintage Eeyore, Ask Me Eeyore plush. It talked and moved. It only sold for seven plus shipping, um, but I had it listed a while. I just wanted to let it go. Somebody sent me a low offer and I took it. I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar at a thrift store for this one and it did work. This is another Eeyore plush. This one sold for eight plus shipping. It was a Christmas style one. It had a little scarf and like reindeer ears. And this one, I think I paid 50 cents at the same thrift store as the other Eeyore. And they both sold relatively quickly. Disney usually does pretty good. These are vintage 80s pound puppies, um, plush dogs. They sold for 18 plus shipping for the two of them. I also thought these would go for a little bit higher than they did, and maybe I could have held out for more, but I got those for free, um, so I've had them for a long time, so I wasn't upset about that. This is a Talking Judy from Zootopia Disney Plush. It sold for six plus shipping. It was pretty small. Um, I got this one for like a quarter at a yard sale, and it said a couple different phrases, and it was really cute. Here we have another Bolo Alert. This actually didn't have a brand. It is a vintage plush bear, 45 inches. I picked it up for a dollar at a thrift store, sold it for 74 plus shipping. I used Google Lens basically to figure out that it was a Bolo. Um, it did have some wear, like pieces of the eye and the mouth were kind of missing and the bow was really worn and it was missing a button. You can kind of see there, um, but it was still really old and hard to find items, so it sold pretty quickly on eBay, and the shipping was high because of the size. This is a similar one I found recently for $2, but it's a Rushton brand, which is more well-known, and I picked it up for $2. I have it listed for $148, but it hasn't sold yet, but definitely a bolo. This is a gunned rubber face sleeping baby. It sold for 15 plus shipping. I think I got this for 50 cents or a quarter at a thrift store. Um, there's a picture of it. It's kind of similar to the Rushton rubber face dolls, which any pretty much any rubber faced older doll or plush is worth picking up usually. And the buyer actually fixed it up and sent me a little TikTok vi video that she made of fixing it up. And it was so cute. I was so happy she did that. It turned out really good. This is a Dandy Snowflake Bear set of the boy and the girl from 2010, sold for 41 plus shipping. I got these for a dollar each at Salvation Army. Um, I have several of these listed. They did take a while to sell, and then I have some that still haven't sold yet. But they're pretty easy to find, and they do sell after, you know, you just have to sit for a while sometimes. 
There's another one I sold for 23 plus shipping. That was the 2010 Dandy Snowflake Bear. And I picked that one up for a dollar at Salvation Army also. It was uh, new with tags. You can see it still has the tag on the ear. But the other two did not. This is a vintage Russ Mongo Monkey or Mungo Monkey. It sold for 21 plus shipping. Um, I think I got that for a dollar. Now we're into pillows. This is a Heinz Oxford Tapestry Pillow. Sold for 22 plus shipping. I got this for 50 cents at Salvation Army. And that brand is a good one to look for. It's, a, it's probably actually a bolo. I'll show you some more at the end of the video that sold for a lot higher than mine did. This is just a year-round holiday tapestry needlepoint style pillow. It sold for 14 plus shipping. It has all the different holidays throughout the year, so you can use it year-round. I got this one at Salvation Army for 50 cents as well. That's usually where I pick up most of my pillows because they always have them cheap. This is just a pillow cover. I sold for 21 plus shipping. I got this one at Goodwill, and I think I paid 70 or 80 cents, maybe, a dollar at the most. And it did pretty well for just being a cover. It was really pretty. It had like a bunny and fox alphabet sort of design. It was really nice. This is a Boyd's Bear Tapestry um, honey pot. It says something about great friends and good times, and it has like bees and a honey pot teapot thing. Um, that one I think I got for 50 cents at Salvation Army, and I think it said it sold for 14 plus shipping. This one is a Christmas pillow, sold for 8 plus shipping. It had Christmas carolers on it. I think I got this one at Goodwill for 70 or 80 cents, under a dollar. Um, it was a smaller sized one, and most of the Christmas ones sell pretty quickly. This is a Pottery Barn Butterfly Pillow. I think I paid a dollar for this one. It sold for 25 plus shipping and it sold almost instantly after I listed it. I think I probably listed it a little low. I usually suspect that when things sell so quickly. Pottery Barn can definitely be a bolo brand to look out for as well, including their quilts. This is a Golf Needlepoint Tapestry Pillow. I sold for 16 plus shipping. Um, I picked this one up for, I think it was a dollar at a thrift store, and it also sold really quickly. I think I could have maybe listed it a little bit higher. Another bolo. These are some needlepoint insect butterfly themed pillows. They sold for $75 plus like almost $30 shipping because of the weight. I got these for 50 cents a piece at Salvation Army, so that was an awesome profit. I had no idea they were worth that much. I actually used Google Lens and I found this stock photo where they're being sold for $131 with free shipping for just one pillow. So that was a pretty good deal for the buyer, I think. These are some items I found on eBay when I was searching plush. I have picked these up at Goodwill. I haven't listed mine yet, but that one sold for $39. It's a Wells Fargo plush. This is some Rainbow Bright plushes. I actually have this one to list as well that I picked up at Salvation Army for a dollar. That one sold for $79. Um, this Rainbow Bright sold for $99. Plus shipping. I got this myself on Shop Goodwill recently for like eight bucks. Here are some little lovey security blankets. I've heard these can be a bolo. I have not sold any yet, but I always look for them. That one sold for $129. There's one that sold for $99. So there's Gun, there's Disney, um, Vintage, New. I don't think it matters. I think a lot of them do pretty good. Jelly Cat is another brand I recently learned about that I have been keeping an eye out for, and I actually just found one last week for a dollar at Goodwill. I haven't listed it yet. There's another Rumble Bear that sold for 105. That's actually the same exact one that I had. I definitely could have hung, held, uh, held out for more. <laughs> Dandy Floppy Duck. I have one of these listed as well myself for about the same price. It has not sold yet, but there is a sold one on eBay. Then we've got the Dandy Bunny Rabbits. These were selling like crazy earlier this year for a hundred, a hundred plus dollars. So I always keep an eye out for these as well. I'm sure you can find these at thrift stores for you know a dollar, fifty cents, two dollars, and then look, there's one sold for hundred and thirty dollars. That's just amazing profits. 
This is a play school blankies pig plush fleece. Uh, this looks like something you would see in a thrift store for 50 cents and it sold for $150. Webkins, I know some of them are as good as others, but some can definitely be a bolo. That's a signature Arctic Fox that sold for $160. These Peeps, I've seen these at thrift stores, but it was before I started reselling. That one sold for $140 plus shipping. There's a FAO Schwartz, that's another good brand to look for. They're usually really nice, uh, good quality. That one sold for $157 plus shipping. There's another Scalanimal, similar to the one I sold. That one sold for $157, so it must be a harder to find character. There's a vintage nylon plush. I see these a lot too. Commonwealth is a good brand to look for. That one sold for $174 plus shipping. Eden is another great brand to look for. I have picked that up recently myself at Goodwill for like a dollar. This one sold for $180. Then we have the Tyco Vintage Kitty Kitty Kittens Purring Cat. Those a lot of three that sold for $175. I've seen these at thrift stores too, but it was before I started selling. Steef is an awesome brand to look for. Super high quality, usually like mohair. Um, that one sold for $175. Those are harder to find though. There's another Rainbow Bright. I actually had that as a child. I think it's in my attic, but I don't know if I could get rid of it, but it did sell for $202. Then we've got a Boyd's Bear. That one sold for $188. I don't know if that's a special one. It says it's from QVC, but Boyd's Bears are collectible, so they can be great to pick up. There's another Commonwealth uh, nylon plush sold for almost $200. That looks like something you could find in a thrift store, you know? There's another Eden plush. That one sold for $200 plus shipping. And that just looks like a little basic teddy bear, like a vintage plush teddy bear. Pusheen, I have found these at the thrift store. I actually found a huge collection of them a couple weeks ago, but my daughter wanted to keep it. That sold for $200 plus shipping. I might have to talk to her. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies, apparently these are a bolo. It had 40-some bids. It sold for $203 for one little plush. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, also a huge bolo. I mean, certain ones, probably not all of them. Definitely look at comps, but this one sold for $215 with free shipping. Here's a huge lot of Beanie Boos. So if you get these for $25.50 cents and lot up 100 of them and sell them for $161 plus shipping, that's a great profit. Again, Disney Princess, huge lot, $19, sold for $175 plus shipping. You could easily find those and lot them up, hold on to them for a while, and sell them high. There's another Eden plush. This one sold for $250 plus free shipping. Definitely a brand to look for. Popples, my brother had this exact one, $250 with free shipping. I don't know what happened to his, but I will definitely be looking for it. There's another Popples. Oh, we had so many of those as kids. Basically, if you're like around my age, like 30s, 40s, and, and it was something you had as a kid, it's probably worth money. Uh, Play School, Snuzzles, Rabbit, Bunny, Plush, Lovey, $250 with free shipping. That just looks like a basic little plush. Snoopy, Peanuts, Hallmark. Um, Snoopy is a good one to look out for. That one sold for $130 plus really high shipping. I don't know, I guess because it's big. There's another Eden plush. That one sold for $250 plus shipping. That's just insane to me. Uh, definitely look for those. Um, Keener or Kenner is another great brand to look out for. A lot of theirs sell for pretty high. The vintage ones, that one sold for $248. Bark box. I bought these for my dogs like a year ago and let them chew them up and I just happened to come across this when I was looking. They sell for like two, three hundred bucks. Like I had all of those. I should have saved them. <laughs> but I let my dogs chew them. So if you get a hold of the Bark Box 420 toys, don't let your dogs chew them. There's another Five Nights at Freddy's uh plush sold for $285 with free shipping. I have picked those up at thrift stores myself. Most people probably have heard of Squishmallows. Squishmallows, those are like the new thing. Uh, that one went for $2.55. There's another one went for $2.90. They had a ton of bids. 
Um, I, I buy those at Walgreens sometimes and flip them, but I haven't been lucky enough to come across that big of a profit. My pet monster. So I was bidding on these on Shop Goodwill and I ended up falling asleep and missed the ending of the auction and I was so upset. They ended up selling for I think 120 bucks, but as you can see, you can sell them for three to four hundred dollars and they're just so cool looking. I think they're awesome. There's another Pusheen. I don't know why this one is special. It says pre-gunned. I guess maybe it was like an early made one, but it sold for $3.30 with 10 bids. There's another Kenner Party Yum Yums plush. That one sold for $3.50 plus free shipping. Definitely something to look out for. And there is a similar one that sold for also $3.50 plus free shipping. I want to say these took a best offer, so I'm not sure if it actually sold for $3.50, but I'm sure it was close. There are some more of the Jumbo Peeps. That's a whole set of them that sold for $3.10 plus $50 shipping. Definitely look out for those. The WWF Wrestling Buddies Hulk Hogan. I think my brother had some of these as well. These two sold for $3.50 plus shipping. Disney Dinosaurs Talking Baby 330 plus shipping. Definitely something to look out for. It had 27 bids. I've seen those sell quite a bit. There is a Jumbo Solly Monsters Inc. plush that sold for $300 bucks plus $80 shipping. 41 inches, pretty big. Land Before Time plush set. I used to love this movie as a kid. Those sold for $400 plus shipping. Pretty much anything big you should look for. This is a Disney Lady and the Tramp for $5.50. I have no idea why that's special, but apparently it is. There is a extremely rare ENJ, ENJ Classic Plush Wolf, $5.50 plus shipping. Just crazy. Sanrio, Hello Kitty, and Steef collaboration, of course that's going to be worth money, sold for $6.31 plus shipping. That's probably pretty rare, hard to find, I'm sure. This says Holy Grail, Roger Rabbit, $700. That's another movie I used to love. So, you know, old nostalgic stuff, large sizes. Rushton is a great thing to look for. The Rubber Face Dolls, that one sold for $9.40, plus shipping. Sonic, I, I noticed a lot of these GE Animation Sonics that sold for insane amounts of money. I don't know why they're special, but apparently they are. There is a lot of, a bunch of Care Bear Cousins, not just the regular Care Bears. These are like the Cousins specifically. They sell for a lot more. Went for over a thousand dollars. There's another Rushton Rubber Face. Went for twelve hundred dollars plus free shipping. Those are from the 50s. Really cool. There's a whole lot of them that went for $1,300. I would say that was probably a great deal for a reseller. I bet they could get a lot more out of that many. There's another My Pet Monster, new in the box, by Amtoy. Sold for $1,500, y'all. $1,500, that's insane. Can you imagine finding that at a yard sale? Lion King Simba's Pride, huge, by Douglas, $1,500. I think I read the story of who sold that on one of my Facebook groups, and they were, like, so excited. Uh, there's another My Pet Monster, sold for almost $1,700 with 28 bids. Squishmallow, sold for $1,773 with 16 bids. I'm not sure why that one is extra special, but it sold for a ton of money. Another Sonic. This one sold for $33.50 with 90 bids. I don't know why these are special, but I'm definitely going to look into it more. Now, the TY I wanted to put on here because those are usually not accurate if you see those. There's only one bid. They probably didn't pay or it was like a money laundering thing. Those do not really go for that much. But this Sonic does. Sold for almost eight grand with 21 bids. And I thought maybe that was a similar like TY situation, but look at the bids and they're like real bidders it looks like. So I guess it really is worth $8,000 for a stuffed animal. Plants vs. Zombies sold for $1,300 or $13,000 with like 30 some bids. Uh, there's another one right here, $14,800. I don't know why these are special either, but it might be something to look more into, for sure. 
So here's some pillows. These are some Pottery Barn pillows that sold for $114. I find Pottery Barn quilts and bedding often at the thrift store. That one is really pretty. That's an owl. It sold for $123.77 plus shipping. Pottery Barn is definitely a great brand to look at. There's an Airstream Camper. I love that one. It sold for $300. That's just crazy for a pillow to me. <laughs> then there's this brand, Aubison. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that was, um, I came across that several times when I was searching for comps and they seem to sell really high. That one sold for uh, almost $200, so that would be a good brand to look out for, I would guess. And then this Jonathan Adler is another brand I came across a lot that sold really high. I have not found any of those myself, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. Then we've got the Hines of Oxford. That's the brand of the one pillow that I sold. These ones sold a little bit higher than mine did. Uh, definitely a great brand. You can tell it's quality if you find it. I could tell the one I found was really nice. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave some comments. Tell me what's the best plush you've sold and what kind of plush do you look out for when you're sourcing. Thank you.